Hello everyone, today's video content is analysis of the real questions of the FCP, FGT, AD 7.4 exam, and explanation of relevant knowledge points. The following test questions are all from our question bank, and they were updated on August 17, 2024. First, let's learn about the basic information of the FGT, AD 7.4 exam. Next, let's take a look at some of the test questions and related knowledge points in the question bank we updated on August 17th. Question 1. Which two statements about FSSO advanced mode are true? This question tests. FSSO advanced mode. The knowledge points of this question are FSSO helps FortiGate control access based on user identity. In advanced mode, it can directly pull group info from an LDAP server, bypassing the need for a DC agent. You can also use regular expressions to filter groups for better control. In advanced mode, FortiGate can directly pull group information from the LDAP server without relying on the DC agent. Therefore, option A is correct. Advanced mode supports group filtering using regular expressions, allowing for more precise control over user group access permissions. Therefore, option C is also correct. Question 2. Which FortiGate feature enables automatic detection of device types on an interface? This question tests automatic device detection. The knowledge points of this question are FortiGate can automatically figure out what kind of device is connected to its interface, which is super handy. The feature that does this is called Source Device Type, and it helps in applying the right security policies based on the detected device. The Source Device Type feature is used to automatically detect and identify the types of devices connected through an interface for more accurate security control. Therefore, Option D is correct. Question 3. Which two parameters must match for traffic to hit a specific firewall policy? This question tests. Firewall policy matching. The knowledge points of this question are. For a firewall policy to apply, the traffic has to match certain criteria. In this case, the source and destination IP addresses, as well as the source and destination interfaces, need to line up with what's defined in the policy. If they do, the policy kicks in. The source and destination IP addresses of the traffic are key criteria for matching a firewall policy. Therefore, option A is correct. Another crucial matching criterion is the source and destination interfaces of the traffic. Therefore, option B is also correct. Question 4. In a firewall policy, what does the service setting allow an administrator to do? This question tests. Service setting in firewall policy. The knowledge points of this question are. The service setting lets you control traffic based on specific protocols and port numbers. So, if you want to allow or block certain types of traffic like web traffic on port 80 or secure traffic on port 443, this is where you do it. The service setting allows administrators to match traffic based on protocol type and port numbers. Therefore, option C is correct. Question 5. Which two methods can be used to provide a one-time password to users in a two-factor authentication setup? This question tests. One-time password delivery in two-factor authentication. The knowledge points of this question are. FortiGate supports a couple of ways to send OTPS in a two-factor setup. 
You can use a mobile app that pushes notifications with the OTP or have users generate OTPS with the FortiToken app. Both methods make sure that only the right person gets access. Mobile apps can send OTPS to users via push notifications. Therefore, option A is correct. The FortiToken mobile app allows users to generate and receive OTPS for two factor authentication. Therefore, option C is also correct. If you have any questions about the FCP, FGT, AD 7.4 exam, please leave a message in the comment area or contact us directly. Thank you everyone for watching. See you next time.